Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And there are varying reasons why you may wish to have a full-featured desktop PC in your RV. We're going to share this week not only the reasons why we do, but the smallest full-featured desktop PC that we could find. So, stay tuned. After we moved out of our home and decided to go into our RV for full-time travel, I discovered that I missed the media servers that I had running on a home theater PC in our Sticks and Bricks home. I was running Plex for video content as well as music, but then I also had a separate subsonic server that I was running for music alone. I think each one of those servers does things a little bit differently and I prefer each in different circumstances, but be that as it may. I discovered that I really wish that I had them along in the RV. The movie collection for our entertainment purposes and the music for just relaxing when we're at camp. And so I started thinking about different ways that I could implement those two servers in the RV. Now our home theater PC at our Sticks and Bricks home was a full-size tower PC and there was no way that that was going to fit anywhere in a reasonably convenient location in our RV to be able to run the existing machine that we had. So I started looking for a small form factor PC and boy did I find it. This is the Mealy PC G02. It's a full Windows 10 professional desktop PC in a stick factor form that's only five inches long, two inches wide, and 0.7 inches thick. The heart and soul of this PCG02 is an Intel i5 Celeron J4126 quad core processor. Out of the box, this runs at 2.0 gigahertz and can be clocked at up to 2.7 gigahertz although we haven't had the need to do that ourselves, as that will only draw more power. On board, you'll find 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and 256 gigs of solid-state onboard storage, expandable by a micro SD card in this slot here that can accept up to 1 terabyte cards. It comes preloaded with Windows 10 Pro, which is eligible for the free upgrade to Windows 11 when available. It has on this end a gigabit Ethernet port, Plus, it has 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi AC dual band Wi-Fi for network connectivity. On this side, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, and the output is via HDMI 2.0. Onboard Intel Graphics 600 is capable of 4K video at a 60 hertz refresh rate. This does not have a cooling fan. Instead, cooling is provided by a specially designed heatsink so it operates 100% absolutely silently and uses less energy while not accumulating dust, something that's prevalent in an RV environment. It uses a 5 volt, 3 amp power supply connected by micro USB cable and it's capable of auto on and wake on LAN via configuration settings in the BIOS. Now for our monitor, we're using the 43 inch 4K Roku television that we have in the living room of our RV. For input devices, we're using a wireless Bluetooth keyboard and a wireless Bluetooth mouse. Now this little Meadly is absolutely perfectly suited for web browsing, checking and sending email, uh, for streaming video, streaming audio, or even working with Microsoft Office apps or working remotely on a VPN as we've done with this machine. It is not designed for high power gaming. So if you're expecting a high power gaming machine, this is not your PC. But for the purposes that we're using it for, it's absolutely ideal. Now back to the reasons why we decided to implement this in the RV. Uh, as you know, most RV manufacturers are putting in DVD players. And first of all, who wants to watch a video in 480p standard definition when 
our, all of our televisions are in high definition. That makes absolutely no sense, and it's not a pleasant viewing experience. It would be nice if they put Blu-ray players in RVs instead of DVDs. However, that still requires an entire cabinet to store that entire movie collection, whereas we have everything on a tiny little 8 terabyte hard drive that's sitting right behind our television. This is great if the kids want to watch movies, even if you want to keep yourself entertained. We have access to all of our video and all of our audio anywhere in the RV. We've got the Mealy PC sitting right here atop the bracket on our TV mount. And just off to the left of it, you can see the 4 terabyte drive that we have our music collection and some documents on. Now, the stick PC may not fit in the area where the HDMI cables input into your television, as is the case with us, so we're using the included 6-inch extension cable. Now, if I'm going to be forthright, I did not have high expectations for this little guy, both due to its tiny form factor and due to its price. However, it has clearly exceeded our expectations. It outperforms laptops that cost multiples of what this little guy does. And we have an always-on PC connected to the back of our television, ready to provide us video content or music for our relaxation, to allow me to work on VPN from the road, or simply for web browsing or checking email. Uh, what comes in the box is the PC, the 6-inch HDMI extension cable, uh, the 3-amp 5-volt power supply, and an owner's manual. It costs $254.99 presently on Amazon and is available with free Prime shipping. I'll put affiliate links down below in the video description if you would like to check out this Meadly Stick PC for yourself. Understand that it doesn't cost you any more to shop Amazon through Grand Adventure, but Grand Adventure receives a small commission on each sale to allow us to bring you more and better videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to make sure that you never miss a Grand Adventure. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. Understand, it's extremely important to us that if you liked this episode or if you found it useful, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, you'll find the comment section. And we'd love to hear from you each week. So, coming up next week, or matter of fact, scheduled for delivery tomorrow, is our new Starlink Internet Kit. And I cannot tell you, after two years of waiting, how excited we are for this. I am optimistic that if it arrives on time, next week's episode will be sharing our first experiences with high-speed Starlink satellite internet in our RV. So you do not want to miss next week's episode. Until then, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.